How's it going today guys? Back today with another video talking about an item that I have in my studio. And today's topic of discussion, take them back Sunday, tell your friends vinyl. So for those of you who know me, this is probably the least surprising vinyl or item that I have within my studio. Take them back Sunday is my favorite band of all time. I have seen them 19 times in concert and counting. Uh, I do not plan on stopping anytime soon. Since I was in seventh grade, I wanna say, uh, 2009, uh, when they came through Milwaukee on the New Again tour uh, was the first time that I saw them. Actually, I saw them for the first time down at, in Orland Park, Illinois at the Journey's Backyard Barbecue in 2009. We are taking back Sunday! With uh, Envy on the Coast, but on the New Again tour, then saw them a couple days later in Milwaukee with Ann Berlin as well. Since then, I've seen them every single time that they've came through Milwaukee, the Milwaukee, Chicago area. They are my favorite band of all time. A uh, little bit of backstory on that. I grew up really being a heavy uh, and avid listener of rap music. But when I got to middle school, um, still super heavy into rap music, but was getting to know, you know some new friends, some new people. A new friend of mine had Basically, we were kind of talking music, this and that, and I was showing him some music, and then he was like, hey, there's this band that I love, and not sure if you ever heard of them, they're called Taken Back Sunday, and obviously at that time, I had not heard of them or listened to them prior, and he threw Your So Last Summer on YouTube, and I almost can't put into words, and I realize this sounds heavily dramatic, but I almost can't put into words, like in that moment, what I felt. In life, you have some moments that are just ingrained in your mind, and seeing that music video with Flavor Flav, she said, Don't. and I don't know, I just, I was like, oh my gosh, like this is the greatest thing I have ever heard. Where he was an individual who liked the band, I listened to it, and it turned into almost obsession. <laughs> Literally, like, uh, almost instantaneously. The rest started to be history. I mean, I dove into their entire catalog, um, it wasn't long before I bought, you know, all the CDs, downloaded all the music, and started looking forward to seeing them in concerts. Uh, at that point, I had not, I had not been to a concert, and I was like, well, this is obviously going to, uh, going to change that. They announced the new again tour. They had a new album coming out, so it was like this perfect cycle of I'm being introduced to this band, and now they have a new album that's on the horizon. They just had a lineup change, and I won't go into their whole band history and stuff like that. But they were about to tour, and I was just like, oh my god, this is. The, it was just such an exciting time. I mean, it really started like a new love for music. I've always loved music from a young age up until that point. But this almost, you know, really dove me into like all these new genres, all these new ways of expressing yourself. At that point in my life, I would say I was starting to mentally and emotionally was starting to hit that like emo phase. And I think that why that's why the band hit me so hard and started getting into uh, that scene of rock and then really branching out to all the music that really shaped my life over the next couple of years. And it all literally comes down to one I want to say like fall evening listening to your so last summer. I'm somebody who's been to a ton of concerts. It really started a you know snowball effect where I was trying to you know every week if not every other week you know going to different shows. No matter how much I've loved you know different bands or acts throughout the years, at the end of the day, Taken Back Sunday will always be fundamentally and foundationally my favorite band. And as I said, I've literally you know seen them 19 times in concert. Uh, and counting. They're not a band, you know, that I'll say I listen to each and every single day. There are certainly artists that are, you know, my current favorites and stuff like that, but if I'm shuffling my music, I'm never skipping a Taken Back Sunday song. More importantly, as I said, if they're ever, you know, even relatively close to where I'm at, I'm never missing a Taken Back Sunday show. That's why I have this vinyl up. Um, I actually just bought it for the studio. I've never had this record on vinyl. Um, or album on vinyl. So that's uh, that's the long and short of why this is in my studio, and probably why it's the most instrumental uh, item that I that I have within the studio. Thank you so much for watching. If you have not checked out this album, I don't care what age, what kind of music you like. Never met anyone that doesn't like this album, so check it out. It's it's literally everything you could ever want it to be. And I mean, every time I listen to it, I you know turn back into. Uh, you know, turn back into that emo kid that I was when I listened to, for, to it for the first time. Thank you for watching. I look forward to talking again soon, and have a great rest of the day.